Welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will make an aluminum air battery. And the first thing we need to do is the electrolyte. For that, we need activated carbon and also a solution of sodium hydroxide. It is important that you use gloves and safety lenses because sodium hydroxide is corrosive and it can make burns on your skin. This is also known as caustic soda. You will make a solution mixing the caustic soda with water at 10 to 20 percent. So you obtain this liquid and in order to make the electrolyte we will mix the solution with the activated carbon in order to obtain a paste that we will use on our battery. Take a piece of aluminum foil, like that you use in the kitchen, then put a separator, which is nothing more than a piece of toilet paper, then put some of the solution of sodium hydroxide in order to humidify the paper, then you put the electrolyte, which is the paste that we made in the previous step. And finally, the current collector, which is a piece of copper foil. The aluminum will be the negative electrode and the copper the positive electrode. Ok, I have connected the multimeter, negative aluminium and positive copper. And you can see that we are getting 1.21, 22 volts. 
It is important to make some pressure between the components. You see how the voltage rises. And let's now see the short circuit current. We have 80, 70, 50 milliamps. The current drops quickly because we are making a short in the battery. Also, the voltage is less. We made a short circuit when testing the short circuit current. Now, let's try to turn on an LED. 1.2 volts is not enough for an LED, which needs more than 2 volts. But using this little circuit, a Joule Thief, to obtain more voltage, let's see. I'm going to connect. And there it is. The current from the battery, more than 50 milliamps, is more than enough. We only need to raise the voltage. And this is our LED feeding from our little battery. Okay, here you can see the chemical reaction that is happening in the battery. The aluminum reacts with the oxygen of air and the water in the electrolytes to produce an aluminum salt and a potential difference between the electrodes. Now, the voltage of the battery depends only on the chemistry. It is fixed at around 1.2 volts, as we have seen. You can also use a different electrolyte. For example, if you use salt water, simple water with salt, it also works, but is less efficient. You get less voltage and also less current. Now, the current depends on the size of your battery. With this battery, we get from 50 to 100 milliamps, but a larger battery will produce more current. Same voltage, 1.2 volts, but more current. So there you have it, a very simple aluminum air homemade battery. I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next one.